Next, have to rent the tux and rent the hall, but what about renting the wedding cake? You ever thought about that? One local businesswoman is doing just that, renting out wedding cakes. We'll talk to her live up next. Stay with us. Okay, so she started out just wanting to have a little fun about an idea, you know, a different type of wedding cake. Well, today that fun is spread across the country and even around the world. We have with us today Kimberly Aya, who is the owner of Fun Cakes. We want to thank you for joining us thank this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely beautiful cake. If I saw it out and about, I'd say, what a beautiful cake. Can I eat it? And you can't. No, nope, it's a fake cake. So there's one portion at the bottom that's real, where the bride and groom can cut that and feed each other. And then the cake's normally wheeled into the back anyways in order to be served. Exactly. And so you never save you again. Had, right. And so you have your inexpensive sheet cakes back there. So it's a money-saving, co right? cost-saving event here, but also very pretty. And how did you come about this? You said you went to a, a bridal show and what? Right. I went to the DeVos Bridal Show in March, and this is what the brides kept asking for. I planned to open a bakery. I planned to do real cakes because I've been doing that for 20 mm -hmm. years. But the brides wanted fake cakes, so I thought, why not? I don't care if I decorate cake or styrofoam, both are fun. And so, and so then the word kind of spread, Kimberly. I mean, this is very interesting <laughs> because, I mean, you, you started with this and now it's across the country, na uh, international calls you're getting? Yes. Tell yeah, us about it's that. gone nationwide. Um, it started with uh, Chicago and then it went to Washington and Texas. And then I've done BBC London, I've done a newspaper in France, and I've done Australia three times. How did the word actually spread? Was that a word of mouth, a friend? I, mean, I think it was happen? through the Associated Press. They picked up the story and then it took off from there. So it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, and the name of your business is called Fun, fun Cakes. Cakes. And in fact, it's so much fun that the Today Show has already come and interviewed you as well. And, yep. and what's happening with that interview? We, we understand <laughs> that you're kind of on, and we'll see what right. happens today, right? They came and interviewed at my studio for like eight hours. They filmed it, and um, because of current news, you know, bad news always goes before good news, so I've been bumped. So it's supposed to be on today at 8. Today at 8 o'clock. And yep. again, for, for brides who might be interested in this or others, do you, is it just wedding cakes or can it's you do It's mainly, it? but I'm getting some corporates who want to have like a big cake for a 10th anniversary, so I am getting corporate party cakes as well. And just so folks know, average cost of a cake like this that has the real one on the bottom and the rest is fake is what about? Well, locally, our prices aren't too bad. So mm -hmm. locally, you could probably get this for around $300. But in Chicago, this would be over $1,000, okay. where I rent it for $100 for the evening. You rent it for $100 for the evening. Yep. And there is, therein lies the cost-saving factor, because right. then the sheet cakes are next right. to nothing as exactly. far as that goes. Exactly. Well, good luck to you. Well, we will be looking for that interview <laughs> today. It. We'll get you back here. Kimberly Aya, right. thanks so much. Good luck with your fun cakes. Thank you. All right, thanks for joining us. And it is now 6.52. Next up, a look ahead at what's going to be making new for you.